The West Coast of Scotland. It's wild. It's beautiful. And it's hiding a dark secret. Packed into cages are millions of salmon destined for our restaurants and supermarkets. But these are not the wild fish we imagine. These are farmed fish, and they suffer horrific overcrowding, creating ideal conditions for parasitic sea lice infestations and diseases. Sea lice are a huge problem for salmon farmers. They latch onto the salmon and eat their scales, exposing the flesh below. In the overcrowded cages, they multiply in great numbers. Virulent and often fatal diseases take hold. Pancreas disease, anemia, vibriosis, amoebic gill disease, fungus, infectious pancreatic, moritella resistant, cardiomyopathy, hemorrhagic smoke syndrome. To try to counter the lice, highly toxic chemicals such as deltamethrin and azamethopos are poured into the pen in so-called bath treatments. A tarpaulin surrounds the pen to contain the powerful chemicals. But when the treatment time is up, the tarpaulin is withdrawn and the toxic chemicals just flush out into the sea. Deltamethrin is so powerful that it can kill baby lobsters as far away as 10 kilometers. Surely this is no way to produce food for our plates. Even with such toxic chemicals, many farmed salmon are just too sick to make it to the fish processor. They die and a whole industry exists to dispose of the millions of bodies. They are pumped up from the bottom of the pens into plastic crates and transported to the shore. This macabre industry is normally carried out away from prying eyes. But occasionally, an accident occurs. And a hint of the full horror is revealed. They end up in incinerators or open pits. Not just one or two, but millions of fish each year. In 2019, over 10 million farmed salmon died of parasites and failed treatments before they could be harvested. This intensive farming has a terrible impact on the environment. The millions of caged salmon produce vast amount of faeces. They sink, along with uneaten food, to the seabed. What was once pristine seafloor is turned into a dark mat of bacteria that consume the food and the faeces.
salmon farming is one of the most polluting industries in Scottish waters. Its organic waste alone is equivalent in volume to two and a half million people's sewage. That's the same as almost half of Scotland's human population defecating straight into the sea. This is an ugly business. Little welfare for the salmon and scant protection for the environment. The sea lice don't just attack the farm salmon. They latch onto wild salmon and sea trout up to 30 kilometers from the cages. Wild salmon, something Scotland should be rightly proud of, are suffering from sea lice bred by farming. Many wild fish are now covered in lice. More than 10 or so sea lice will kill a young fish. And there's far more than 10 on this one. And it's not just young fish. Adult wild salmon can be so infested that they too die. But the horror story isn't over. Storms batter this coast. Anchor ropes break, cages collapse, and fish escape. The numbers are staggering. In 2020, over 100,000 fish escaped from just one company's nets. These domesticated fish are a holy and natural plague. Some wander into rivers where they breed with wild fish. That's very bad news for wild salmon, which will be less genetically fit, less likely to survive. And year on year, escape upon escape, the threat to wild salmon increases. But it really doesn't have to be this way. In 2018, Washington State banned open pen farming. British Columbia now recognises that open pen salmon farming is not sustainable. Argentina too has banned open pen salmon farming. And there are alternatives. Around the world, people are building salmon farms on land enclosed systems where the salmon can grow free from the menace of sea lice. In Nova Scotia, they are rearing salmon free from toxic chemicals and without damage to the environment and wild fish. In Florida, they've started selling fish into the American market. Change is happening. And change can happen here too. Scotland could choose this better way. It could leave the horrors of open sea pens behind, step forward and be part of a better, greener future. Say no to open net salmon farming.